Hey guys, Takara here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're on Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 2, Episode 9. I don't want to be rambling, I want to get straight into the reaction. So roll the intro and let's go. A career fair. Willow looks so happy. Are you a people person or do you prefer keeping your own company? Uh, my own company. And who keeps his own company by default? Me. No, it's just these people can't tell from one multiple choice test what we're going to be doing for the rest of our lives. It looks so different in this one. I'm kind of curious to find out what sort of career I could have. No matter what my aptitude test says, we already know my deal. Yep, high risk, sub-minimum wage. Pointy wooden things. You're not even a teensy-weensy bit curious about what kind of career you could have had? Do the words sealed and fate ring any bells for you, Will? Why go there? Whoa, she, she do be better. Unless hell freezes over and every vamp in Sunnydale puts in for early retirement, I'd say my future is pretty much a non-issue. Come, dogs. Give us some peace, would you? Can't you see I'm working? Well, that was a very nice spike. I'm sorry, kitten. It's just this manuscript. It's supposed to hold your cure. It reads like gibberish. A cure? It's that bloody slayer. Whenever I turn around, it's just mucking up the works. Okay, this is interesting now. So some she needs a cure for something. They're running out of time for it. Apparently this manuscript is going to have the answers. Some people find pain very inspirational. Oof. Kind of felt that. Then this book is in some kind of code. Yeah. Is that where we'll find this key? Yeah. Yeah. Now will you dance? Now will you dance? On the Slayer's grave. Mm, don't really like the sound of that bit. Rather, you didn't, Spike. <gasps> Seth Green. Okay, so we're going to get Oz in this one. Just a transcriber, not transcribing. I wonder why his face was always vamped out, but the others weren't. Does rest in peace have no sanctity to you people? I forgot. They're not a people. Well, that one looks like a nasty one. One down, one gone. He's so tall, like, he looks like a giant in this room. You scared me. Now you know what it feels like, stealth guy. Just dropping by for some quality time with Mr. Gordo? Mr. Gordo. Gordo the pig. I wanted to make sure you're okay. I had a bad feeling. There's a surprise. Angel comes with bad news. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Look, I've been cranky, miss, all day. It's not you. It's career week. How did you know? I lurk. He's a lurker. Well, then you know it's a whole week of what's my line, only I don't get to play. Your line's already been written. It's okay. It's a cool shot that just to remind us that he has no reflection like they're having a deep connection yet there's no reflection you know poetic i wish we could be regular kids i'll never be a kid okay then a regular kid and her cradle robin creature of the night boyfriend is this part of your normal life skating was an escape there's a rink out past route 17 it's closed on tuesdays tomorrow's tuesday cute very very cute personal shopper or motivational speaker Motivational speaker on what? Ten ways to a more annoying you? <laughs> what about you? You're... <laughs> what? We don't get to know? When you look at me, do you think prison guard? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you'll be on the right side of the bars. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh now, Missy. They assigned you to the booth for law enforcement professionals. As in police? Aww. What's wrong with the police? Yeah, didn't check to see which seminar I was assigned to, did you? I did, and you weren't. But I handed in my test. I used a number two pencil. Your name wasn't up there, Will. That's weird. <clears throat> <sighs> oh, I was kind of hoping that was Jenny. I trust last night's patrol was fruitful. I mm, caught one out of two vamps after they stole something from this jumbo mausoleum. Vampire who escaped, did you see what he took? No, but I can take a guess and say it was something old. You made no effort to find out what was taken. This could be very serious. I mean, if you'd made an effort uh, to be more thorough in your observation. You know, if you don't like the way I'm doing my job, why don't you find somebody else? That's right. There can only be one. There we go again. I don't have to be the Slayer. I could be dead. 
Our only concern is to discover what was stolen from that mausoleum last night. Hmm. Is this the key? What about the Slayer? She almost blew the whole thing for us. She's trouble. She's the bloody thorn in my bloody side. We'll never complete your cure with that bitch breathing down our necks. Whoa. You just dropped the B word? I need to bring in the big guns. Big guns? The order of Taraka. The bounty hunters? Isn't that overkill? I think it's just enough kill. Hmm. The order of Taraka. Where is she? Who? You know who. I just saw her. And don't feed me that I just saw her a minute ago. She's around here somewhere, story. She is around here somewhere. For what it's worth. It's worth nothing, Harris. Whatever comes out of your mouth is a meaningless waste of breath. Whoa. <laughs> His love of children carries on very strong. Willow Rosenberg, come with us, please. Let's walk. Uh, is touching necessary? Do you need to touch her there? Who are these two men? You've been selected to meet with Mr. McCarthy, head recruiter for the world's leading software concern. We've been tracking you for some time. Is that a good thing? No. I don't trust these guys. Only one other Sunnydale student met our criteria. Who is... <gasps> oh, it's Oz! Okay, now I'm interested. Now I'm interested. I... I'm not as sussy anymore. Canapé. Canapé. You're behaving remarkably immaturely. You know why? I am immature. I'm a teen. I've yet to mature. God, you act like I picked this gig. But remember, I'm the picked. She's on one. It's one thing to be a watcher and a librarian. They go together, like chicken and another chicken. <laughs> Chickens are something. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we know. <laughs> well, now there's a thought. Have you ever considered law enforcement? Oh. I hate when you say that. You remember the book that was stolen from the library by a vampire a few weeks ago? Yeah. It was written by Dunak. However, it was written in archaic Latin. Archaic Latin. That's what it was. Do you think they figured out how to read the book? <sighs> Something's coming, Buffy. Whatever it is, I can guarantee it's not good. So is this her mum coming back from LA? Definitely not her mum coming back from LA. This is... A rocker. Hello, I'm Norman Fister with Blush Beautiful Skin Care. Just to accept a few free samples. There's a catch. Always a catch with something free. Oh, she's invited him in. <laughs> Holy hell. I'm guessing she dead. Also, that scream did not match her, vo her face. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Who this? This article describes an invention of his, which he called the Delac Cross. So why go to all the trouble of inventing something and then giving it a weak name like that? I mean, I'd have gone with the cross o -matic or uh, the amazing Mr. Cross. The cross was more than a mere symbol. It was used to understand certain mystical texts to uh, decipher hidden meanings. Goody! Research party! Well, you need a life in the worst way. Speaking of, I really have to bail, but I promise I'll be back bright and early tomorrow and ready to slay. I'm glad she's still got to do this now because I was getting a bit nervous that they were going to make her do the research for this thing. Is this actually her skating? Is she a skater? It looks like it's her because I've seen when they change the actresses and it doesn't usually look smooth. <laughs> Where is this? This looks like it could be her. Great. The Undertaker has arrived. He looks like a mix of The Undertaker and Kane. Like if you merge them together. Looks like their third brother or something. Oh, right in your coccyx that then it looked like. No, that was the coccyx. Oh, okay. Blade to the throat. Days passing under our feet. There's one down. Another two to go, is it? 
close to decoding the manuscript. We just need a bit more time. Time is ours. It brings the Slayer closer to them. You're in danger. You know what the ring means? I just killed a Super Bowl champ. I'm serious. What about you, that cut? Forget about me. This is bad, Buffy. We gotta get you out of here. What, you mean hide? Let's just get you someplace safe. No, your eye. Don't be a baby. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's not that. I... He doesn't like her seeing him like this. Imagine kissing with those teeth in. Oh, Rihanna's got her eye on you. This ring is worn only by members of the Order of Taraka. And didn't they beat the Elks this year in the Sunnydale Adult Bowling League Championships? Their credo is to sow discord and kill the unwary. Bowling is a vicious game. That's enough, Xander. Well, I was not appreciating his jokes. I think the best thing we can do is to find a secure location. Now you and Angel have both said to head for the hills. Are you saying I can't handle this? That I'm not strong enough to fight these people? You can kill as many of them as you like. It won't make any difference. Right. There will be another. And another. Okay, that makes me very uneasy. I thought there was just three, because there was just the three cards. You won't know who they are until they strike. Oh. A literal walking maggot. Of a man. <laughs> Try it. Try what? I'm sorry. Still not clear what I'm supposed to try. Sorry. It's a tense person. <laughs> that is a tense person right there. So, did no conversation happen between Willow and us then? Because I'm a bit upset that we didn't get to see that. Other than. Do you want to try this canopy? <laughs> she looks super cute in that shirt. It's good that she took you seriously, Giles. I just wish we knew where she was. What is she doing? Trying to find a safe place to hide? Angel? Is this Angel's place? Angel? It is. I remembered it being like in a weird bunker type thing. You're just letting yourself in? Cheeky, cheeky. He has done it to you enough times, though, in fairness. He's just going to walk in and be like, um, hello? <laughs> Buffy just chilling in his bed with her shoes on, I might add. A bit rude. Just to always take your shoes off. What can I do for you tonight? I need some information. That's too bad, cuz I'm staying away from that whole scene. Sure you are, Willie. And I'm taking up some day. Who sent them? Who sent who? The Order of Taraka. Was it Spike? I'm a little rusty when it comes to killing humans. It could take a while. Oh, Spike will draw a corner, me man. I'll take care of Spike. Spike's sick of your girl getting in his way. He and that freaky chick of his are... Oh. Oh. Who is this the one of the Taraka? Sheesh. And then she's just all calm, like. That girl. You stay away from her. East sun exposure. The sun will be coming in a few hours. More than enough time for me to find a girlfriend. Your girlfriend. Can he not? cover up like using his jacket and stuff when the sun comes so he doesn't fry or does it not wear that way mm. she was snoozing doing her research Hello. don't warn the tadpoles <laughs> if it's the library willow you fell asleep I... don't warn the tadpoles i have frog fear <laughs> <laughs> she's just so cute it's a ritual willow I believe the purpose is to restore a weak and sick vampire back to full health. A vampire like Drusilla? By George, I think he's got it. The key to your cure, ducks. He's got some... He's got some pet names for Drusilla. You dragged me out of bed for a ride? What am I, mass transportation? That's what a lot of the guys say, but it's just locker room talk. I wouldn't pay any mind. Buffy could be in trouble. 
And what if she is exactly? What are you going to do about it? In case you haven't noticed, you're the lamest and she's the super chick or whatever. It was very easy to get into her house then. Good day. I'm Norman Fister. I was wondering if I might interest you in some free samples. Free? Uh-oh. Uh, Xander. You best be coming down those stairs, mate. Because Cordelia's gonna need you. Oh, my sweet lord. You must be number two. Thanks for the wake up, but I'll stick with my clock radio. Don't make me do the chick fight thing. Cheek fights? You know. Nails and hair pulling. Kinky. Who are you? You attack me, who the hell are you? I'm Kendra. Kendra. Slayer. Wait. You just wait a ruddy minute now. Did she just say the Vampire Slayer? How? How was the two? I thought it was, she was just part of the... What was it? Talaka or something? Kendra the Vampire Slayer from a different area, maybe? But why in Sunnydale now? I have questions, guys. It was an alright episode, that. The things that I liked is that we are moving towards a plot more so now. I think with Spike being explored with Drusilla, and his reasonings for being around and stuff. I think that is the the season two arc, like his introduction and his exploration with with Drew. So whenever I see his face, I'm I'm always interested. Some things irked me a little bit with this one. So I don't like that we didn't see the Oz and Willow interaction. I thought we were going to get more than that, but I guess they're going to drag this out a little bit. I also didn't really like the snappy Buffy. Obviously, I understand where she's coming from. We keep hashing over this same topic of her wanting this normal life, but her having to be the slayer and her future sort of is written already for her so we do keep going over this and i don't think this will be the last of it i think it's going to be an ongoing thing but i would like to see a little bit more support from giles and others around her for how she's personally feeling because she gets all like upset and like snappy and stuff and everyone just sorts of sort of lets that slide or just lets her vent instead of comforting her and saying it's rough like I feel for you like what you're going through is so so difficult and then maybe encouraging the good side as well like all the good that she's doing and achieving and how she's been trusted with this immense uh, weight as well so obviously she's going to be capable of doing massive things that a mere mortal would never be able to achieve so there are pros and cons to everything and i just wish she had that support system there i think she could possibly have it with angel because angel's been through something as well i expected a little bit more from giles because we found out in in the other episode that he went down the wrong path and did some poor things and you'd think that would make him then go wait a minute I know what she's going through and if I don't handle this right she is then going to rebel and do her own thing like I did which never ended well for me so I want it to not go that way for for Buffy you know but yeah with Angel I think that him becoming a vampire is a real struggle for him as well just as much as Buffy struggles with being the slayer and he's definitely had a shady past and made some poor decisions as well so Buffy would bring out the good in him and I feel like he would be that comfort for her like when she was in that time of need there she went to Angel's house and slept in Angel's bed and he wasn't even there but that was her like comfort and her safety which I think is is huge. Yeah, I think a lot happened in this episode, but I feel like it was more of like a setup episode rather than the main thing, the main course, shall we say. It was a starter, not the main course. That's how I'd describe this one. Spike is obviously looking for this cure for Drew and he's doing all he can to keep the Slayer out of the way so that he can focus on healing his loved one. 
and time is running out so maybe the next one we'll see a lot more progress with with this key that he's got and yeah i don't know I, i'm excited to find out though i want to thank you all for watching my reaction you guys are unbelievable tuning into these each week and i cannot thank you enough if you would like to show some support please head over to my patreon the link is in the description below and there's so much content on there guys like you, you'll be busy for quite some time so i hope you enjoy that if you have any questions at all as well just drop me a message i'm more than happy to to help wherever I can. Yeah, I live stream on Twitch every Friday and Saturday and sometimes more, so I'd love to see you there as well. But if you enjoyed this reaction, give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. But as always, there's no pressure here and I hope to see you for the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.